Hi everybody, it's me, Unique in Every Way, and I'm just coming to you guys to show you guys my hair. This morning I had my hair in a ponytail for church this morning, because I actually was just getting tired of the straight look. And I was just like, um, I'm over this. I cannot deal with in-between hair. I'm either extremely short, like big chop short, or I have to be like at least over here. I can't deal with my hair in its straight form, just like touching like th my collarbone and like just reaching like, you know, like right above my bra strap. I can't deal with that. Like my hair, when it's in its straight form, if it's going to be long, I need it to be long, like right here. Or you're either going to be just really, really short. I can't deal with it in between. So I decided to just wet my hair this morning when I was get getting ready for church. Couldn't deal with it. Um, and I actually noticed, of course, there was a little bit of heat damage. So um, I noticed because I manipulate the front of my hair over here, like the very front, I'm always manipulating this part of my hair so it's really like stretched out. <sighs> like whenever I wear my hair in a ponytail, which I always do, I do my pom-pom puff and I push it back and I brush this part. So this part is really like always manipulated so the curl is like really I'm loosened. going to be washing and shampooing my hair with the olive oil. Um, olive oil creamy oily shampoo. And I'm also going to be using the replenish replenishing conditioner. This is really good, really good with stuff. the Apogee two-step protein treatment to snap my curls back since I had heat applied to my hair. I'm just going to do this little protein treatment and it's going to snap my curls right back like that, guys. Are you ready for that? Because I'm so excited. I hope you're this excited is what it too. looks like. I know you guys have seen this thing on, um, on YouTube. It's, I think it's so cute. It's a hey bomb. guys, so I'm gonna go right on ahead and start shampooing my hair with the olive oil. Olive oil, creamy oily shampoo, removes buildup, restores moisture, gently cleans, and neutralizes. And I'll catch you guys later. So the next step in this process, I'm going to do the two-step Afrogee protein treatment. I have already shampooed my hair and it says to towel blot your hair. Also says to shave this. Not a this. tutorial because this is my first time doing this Afro G stuff. It says to basically saturate the hair with it in sections. Mm, it stinks. It, okay, so. Wow, it's really, really watery. Um, okay. Guess I'll just work this on then. It smells like... It smells like funk. Funk and pickles. Mm. Ew. Oh my god, I have like these cuts on my fingers and... From like cuticles, when your cuticles start to grow and it gets pulled, yeah, it's like burning up my fingers. So you work it through the hair with your fingers. Okay guys, so I put the Afro-G step number one in my hair and it feels, it hasn't gotten really hard yet, so it says to basically let it dry for a little bit of time and just don't touch it at all. So, let's see what this dryer thing is gonna do. So I just actually applied step number two, which is the moisturizer for the two-step treatment. And I must say that I really like it. It definitely has snapped my curls back. And I think they have come back to life after having heat applied to them. My hair feels 
like I'm natural again. So yeah. Now, moving forward, um, there's a little tension in the front of my hair because this the front of my hair is always manipulated the most because I always brush it into a ponytail most of the time and the styles that I always do cause me to manipulate the front of my hair all the time. So the front is just like a little bit loose. It's a little loose in the front. But I already know why, so I know that that's because of my manipulation. But moving forward, I am just trying to decide which one do I want to use. Do I want to do curly meringue, or do I want to do curly buttercream for my twist out? Curly buttercream smells like... It smells like Vicks. It's like, it smells like lemons, but at the same time... It smells like Vicks, like you just have like a huge cough drop on the top of your head that's just like <laughs> melting or something. So it's like a yellow, it's yellowish, it's really thick and creamy, and it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub to loosen up your nozzle, you know, your nasal passage. <laughs> and the curly meringue. Now this smells like lemons, but when I was on vacation, my leave out, I always use the curly meringue on my leave out. So I'm just like over this smell. It kind of makes me nauseous when I smell this now. This smells like lemon. I think because the whole time I had my, excuse me, the whole time I had my sew-in, I used this curly meringue to moisturize my leave out. And to keep the back of my leave out, my nape area twisted up. So right about now, I'm just over this smell. Ew. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with the curly buttercream. Even though it smells like Vicks. I hear that the smell will go away like after a, after a day, I hope. So let's just move forward, shall we? Get started on this twist. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited about twisting up my hair because it's been a while. So I'll catch you guys. Okie doke. So I've already parted my hair into four sections and I have a spray bottle of water. It's going to moisturize this section. Show you guys one twist that I do so you know how I do my flat twist out. I like my twist to be chunky. Because I just think that chunkier twists give me better definition. That might sound strange because some people prefer smaller twists for finer definition. I personally like chunky twists because it gives me better look. So that's the Curly Buttercream. And if you don't know, it's by Miss Jessie's. Not everybody knows that. But it's Curly Buttercream. The best darn buttercreams, period. Um, excellent for this and more. Natural curls, kinks, waves, pony puffs, TWAs, twists, and braid out. Transitioners coiling. Like, it's going to go... The smell's going to, like, die down a bit. I personally have never twisted my hair up with this Curly Buttercream. I have I was given these two products as a gift, the curly buttercream and the curly meringue. I didn't purchase them with my own money. Um personally, I wouldn't pay $50 for a product. Um as far as Miss Jessie's goes, I know for a fact that I love the Miss Jessie's shampoo and conditioner. That I definitely do love. That I would definitely buy, without a fact. Um, but as far as the curly meringue and the... The curly meringue is good, but I think Shea Moisture does the same thing for less money. So, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. I personally love Shea Moisture's hair product line, and they have never stared me wrong. So that's just how I feel personally but to each his own whatever works for you if you're a miss jesse's girl and you don't mind paying 50 bucks for your hair products then hey baby splurge splurge on but me personally i have better things to buy than that 
Okay. So that's what my back looks like. Okay, so I'm on my last twist. Um, I'm going to just take a little bit of this. So for all you guys who don't know, the curly buttercream smells like... It smells like Vicks. It has a menthol, minty, Vicks vapor rub, noxema, you know, kind of smell going on there. And this is my Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil. Um, this has castor oil, seed, um, carrot oil, olive oil, tea tree oil. Yeah, a, a whole bunch of good oils in here. And I'm just going to use this to basically seal the moisture. So I think the curly buttercream pretty cool after all it's giving my head a kind of like a cooling effect it's it's pretty refreshing actually you know it's like opening up my nasal passages as well as conditioning my hair so I'm kind of getting like a double whammy effect here you can kind of take care of everything at once if you're congested you should use the curly buttercream you can get your hair done and you can get your nasal passages opened up at the same time. Like, what product do you know does okay, that? Okay, so this is the result of my hair, twisting it up. I personally do not like first day hair. I can't stand first day hair. It's just really, to me, I don't, I don't really like this Miss Jessie stuff. I don't know if it's the oil that I was adding to seal my hair or if... It's the Miss Jessie's product, but it's just like, the hair is just Because of Miss Jessie's, but I never have this problem when I do shea, shea moisture. So, here we go. I'm going to retwist this hair up because I cannot stand first day hair, as I said already. And the older I can get this hair to look, the bigger I can Gives get it. Gives the twist to more body to me when I comb it out usually, so hopefully when I take this twist set out, it'll be better.